final and totally brilliant part of the Gadget Show Wild Challenge. Yes, we've been battered, uh, soaked and virtually poisoned by the malevolent force that is nature. Yeah, but it's all been fun, right? Yes. yes. And I don't need a tablet to tell me what our final part is. It's a race! This would be a relay race. First on two wheels, then on four, and the winners would be transported back to glorious civilization in the lap of luxury. Oh, man! Are you serious? Oh, a pimped out super plush gadget mansion on wheels. But to be in it, we had to win it. I would take the first leg, and as we'd won the previous cooking challenge, I got first pick again. Yeah! <laughs> I had my eye on the fantastic Volt e-Scoot, a British-made electric scooter, promising superb performance with a tough, durable design. But my vehicle was no consolation prize. I had the Volt Alpine X electric mountain bike with a 250-watt motor, lightweight aluminium frame and a whopping 80-mile battery capacity. Although I hoped the race wouldn't be quite that long. The terrain looked imposing enough standing still. It was Amy versus John in the first leg. Any marks. All we could do now was watch and wait. Straight away, I knew I'd chosen well. The acceleration on my e-scoot was superb, and with a top speed of 20 miles per hour, I was eating up the ground. Okay, full throttle, go hill, go on, go on. I only had a top speed of 15 and a half miles an hour from my motor alone, and Amy was leaving me for dust. But my Alpine X had a secret weapon. Phenomenal hill climbing grunt. <laughs> I think I can, I think I can. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to scoot up the hill, he's coming to catch me. The super high torque motor of my Alpine X, oh, boosted by some good old fashioned legwork, had thrown me into the lead. Come on! Come on, Scooter! <laughs> I'm trying to catch him up! But the race wasn't over yet. I'm getting him! I'm getting him! My scooter had minimum drag and a higher top speed. <laughs> and I won it back on the downhill, although its smaller wheels were struggling with the terrain. Oh, whoa! <laughs> this thing's skidding out behind me! Another hill was coming up and I soon overtook Amy again on the climb. Only to lose it again on the downside. The e-scoot could effortlessly speed downhill. It was uncatchable. Come on, my friend. Now is where I'm hoping Come on. I can catch Amy up. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Come on, John. Give it some of you next. Come on, John. Come on, John. Here we go. I was out of the blocks first on the second leg of the relay and I'd picked the EcoCharger EV Eliminator. An electric quad bike with a super tight turning circle and 20 peak horsepower. Out of the way, Amy, hit it! John tagged me and I was hot on the heels of Otis in the Polaris Sportsman Ace all-terrain vehicle. It has automatic two or four wheel drive selection and packs a whopping 32 peak horsepower engine. So I was hoping to catch Otis on the straights, if there were any. Go on! Now, I know on paper, Jason, this is a much faster vehicle. I just gotta hope I put enough distance between us to keep this lead. No, nope, he's right behind me. And on this winding track, the handlebars of my quad were ideal. I could easily throw it around the corners, but like a rookie, I'd forgotten all about Jason's flagrant disregard for his life or my limbs. Oh. <laughs> Jason tried to take me on the inside. Absolute nutcase. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. It makes such a difference when someone is behind you. I'll tell you that much. Ah, oh, man! <laughs> My larger Polaris was incredibly fast, but it just wasn't as nippy around the corners as Otis's quad. One good straight and I'd be through, but then disaster struck. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man! I was in the ditch, but I wasn't there for long. With ten and a quarter inches of ground clearance, I was free in no time. And if I wanted to catch Otis, I had to go all out. Oh my God! 
This is so cool! Just the power of this thing, man! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! No! No! Oh, the speed on that thing is incredible! I just, I can't compete with it! My goodness! He's gone! Oh! <laughs> and it was my Polaris and me who crossed the line first. Yeah! <laughs> Man! So much fun! <laughs>